guys, it's me, Anne's, and today we're going to be talking about the first Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Diary of the Wimpy Kid? No, that's not what we're talking about. Hey everyone, it is me, Anne's, and today we're going to be talking about Captain Underpants. Really quickly, you're going to be hearing a fan. I can't help it. It's Alabama. It's hot. I found the book at a book sale at the library for like 50 or 25 cents, and I went ahead and grabbed it because my niece and nephew's we're showing interest in the movie, and I thought, what better way to introduce them into book insanity than to have them read the book before they go watch the movie. You guessed it, this is a children's book. And I'm not a children. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. So, I thought it would be a really fun idea to give my opinion as a grown-up, but I'm going to wait till the end of this video. And right now, I just want you to hear from a 9-year-old and a 5-year-old their thoughts on this book. Let's see what a nine-year-old and a five-year-old has to say about the adventures of Captain Underpants. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. On one of the parts, there's a carriage, there's like a small, weird bad guy named Dr. Diaper, and he had these weird laughs. Do the laugh, do the laugh for him. Hi, he hi, he hi, he hi. So, if you were to say, this book was terrible, that would be number one. And this book was great, that would be number ten. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, what would you give this book? One thousand stars! One thousand? Sixty-six stars! Sixty-six stars! Wow! Okay, five-year-old, <laughs> what was your favorite part of the book? Do-do. <laughs> Nine-year-old, what was your favorite part of the book? I like it when... <laughs> If you want a hilarious book, kid approved, full of fake doggy doo doo, <laughs> then this one might be the one for you. You. Oh, and don't forget the part when Doctor Diaper says hi 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 doo So as you can tell, they really enjoyed the book. That being said, it's time for a grown-up's opinion. <laughs> and I use the word grown-up very, very loosely as I sit here in my Pokemon shirt. I am an adult. So Captain Underpants has been out for a really long time. I remember being in elementary school, and I'm old, and seeing it for sale at book sales. I never bought one because I was mature, and uh, I didn't think underpants were... Funny. <laughs> that being said, I finally gave this book a chance with my niece and nephew, and I have to admit, it is pretty entertaining. It is pretty hilarious. Now, if you're looking for mature literature, you, you definitely need to look somewhere else. I mean, it has underpants in the title, for goodness sakes. But if you don't mind a few, or many, immature jokes, then this would be a really fun book. I can't stress this enough that my five-year-old nephew sat through a chapter book. He's, as far as I know, never done that before. I have trouble getting him to sit through picture books, okay? They were quoting this book for days and days to come. I just thought the whole experience was so much fun reading with little kids and watching them find joy in something, even if it's a really silly something. Watching them love a book is worth all the doggy doo-doo jokes. That being said, as a grown-up, I do recommend this book to other grown-ups, especially if you want to read this book with little kids. You got to get past the fake doggy doo-doo because they're going to laugh at that every five minutes and you're going to have to take a break and just let them get the giggles out. But it's totally worth it in the end when they walk around quoting the book. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. My favorite part, and I hope I inserted a clip somewhere, is not the folding chairs and you're just gonna have to read it to know what i'm talking about i hope they put that in the movie we haven't seen the movie yet even though it's been out in theaters for a while i wonder if it's still in theaters i don't know let me know down below if you ever read captain underpants we've only read the first one we haven't got any of the other ones yet i just really liked how it was a mix of comic books with actual chapter books with a lot of fun things in between it really kept them on their toes and it kept them entertained because it was something new every time you turn the page it wasn't just a block of text which i think really helped with the five-year-old a lot maybe you're a parent or an aunt and an uncle and you have a kid who 
maybe hasn't shown interest in reading yet, and it's probably just because they haven't found anything right for them. I know my older nephew um, had trouble reading until he read Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, and now he loves them. They just got to find what's entertaining to them, and sometimes what's entertaining to you as a grown-up isn't going to be entertaining to them as a little kid, so let them laugh at fake doggy doo-doo. That's my advice. This was a fun book. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye! Doo-doo! Doo-doo! Doo-doo!